doing esc escorting or no? No escorting? No, just like at the club. Stripping on only content yeah. with other men. That just to clarify. For only fans, if they have yes. an OnlyFans and they're into that. But Okay. And then you also have like 10 sugar daddies? Yeah, I have guys that will just text me and just spoil me and send me a hundred bucks or whatever. Just okay. take me to get like Louis Vuitton bags or whatever. So Sure. Okay. So, and, but you're okay with it. I, I am okay with it. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back again. As you can see, it's going to be a good little episode here today. I think I, I want to make this video today just to point out the absolute stupidity that people keep coming forward. Right? So all of these guys that you will see in this, in this video, they come out and say, that yeah, yeah, we're in an open relationship and you know, she can sleep with whoever she wants and I can sleep wherever I want with. And they always act like they are nearly superior, especially this guy on camera now, the um, blue haired guy, he's, he's Destiny. He's a YouTube um, person who has, you know, a lot, a lot of followers. So he's making some big, big money. He's come out on this podcast and trying to tell people that, oh, you know, the way we have our relationship is better and, and the traditional way is maybe not as good as our ways. So that's his wife right next to him. Uh, they are married. Um, they are allowed to have sex with whoever they want, whenever they want. Um, but apparently they're just happy that when they can sleep together. Okay. Now let's have a listen what he has to say about their relationship. And you, you know, kind of think in your head right now, do you, do you think their relationship is going to work? Let me know below because I can tell you one thing right now. It didn't. The alleged texts give the impression that Melina, which is his wife, uh, the girl down the left, got involved with a person who threatened her and demanded that she divorce Destiny. Additionally, the messages imply that Melina became involved with this person. It is said that Melina protected this person despite the fact that they were engaged in the harmful conduct, which ultimately led him to make the decision to quit the relationship. I love how, how they just say quit a relationship. They are married. You know, I know, I know marriage doesn't mean something to a lot of people, but to me, marriage means, you know, till the day you die, like maybe call me old school in that way. But I believe when you make that commitment, you should do it for life and just with that one person. And the only way I would want to end a relationship is if they are abusive to you, physically harming you, all that type of stuff. That is the only time I see it right, but each to their own. Because I know a lot of marriages these days do not last, especially their one, because they can sleep with other people. What did they expect, right? What do you expect when, if your significant other wants to sleep with other guys or other girls, they will make a bond eventually. People get attached. And that's the reason why she left them is because she made a bond of another person who's probably better than him, better looking, and probably a little bit better in bed. I take it because she obviously slept with the guy instead of this guy. Like, I mean, no offense, he's not a good looking guy. He is definitely a bit of a cuck, in my opinion. And if you don't know what that is, it's a guy that kind of gets pushed over and always tries to put woman before anyone else. You know what I mean? He's, he's trying to be this freedom fighter, even though she can do it herself. And he is definitely a simp as well. Now let's have a listen to what he's got to say. Go ahead, I, Billy. Just, Billy, I can, go ahead, I can agree that the longer you're with somebody, the better sex gets. So why is she not enough? Why is she not Ooh. enough? It's why I mean like enough, Steve? it's kind of like yeah, asking Steven. it's kind of like if you've got like a close friend but then you've got other friends like well why is that one friend not enough? Yeah. Because in life sometimes variety is fun. Sometimes I want to be with a girl that's Hispanic or Asian. Sometimes I want to be with somebody that is marriage and is something is like not slightly a different. Friendship. Uh, I didn't say marriage was a friendship, a friendship but marriage to me isn't just about my going in her vagina. There's a lot of aspects to my marriage that I share with my wife that's really unique to my wife that I don't share with other people. My yeah. dick is just not one of those things. Is it I mean, going? That's is why it, some people say that emotional cheating is also a thing in, in marriage. Sure, that's great. But Do I'm just guys, saying that like there, there are, I think that there are some things. There's a level of closeness that's only appropriate between spouses. In your opinion, which is fine. Um, but there are some things that are fun to explore sexually with other people that not everybody might like. There might be some people that are into certain things that like I'm not into that she gets another guy. There might be some girls that are into certain things that they're into that she's not into. Yeah, if you're both okay with it, that's fine. Like, you know, totally. And that's why our marriage failed is because, yeah, she found someone better than you. Someone that she prefers over you. Because, I mean, just look at you, dude. No offense. Yeah, you got a lot of money and that's the reason why you act like you do. Is because you have this money. And you think that every woman would want to sleep with you, which, you know, a bigger percentage of women do. There's no offense. If he was not rich, he was not making a lot of money from YouTubing, etc. No girl would want to really sleep with this guy. 
So he would think of it way differently. So when it comes to that situation, he would never get a girl like this. But because he has these options, now he thinks, oh, I'm going to be in an open relationship because I have choices. But think of a normal person. They don't have these sorts of choices. They know that they want to be with that one person for their life. And that's why their marriage failed. I, I literally watched this episode, I believe, probably about two weeks ago. And I knew for a fact there's no way that they will last. These relationships don't last. And lo and behold, it didn't last. Now the next one I want to show you. All right, so this is the next one here. This is the boyfriend here in the back, and that's the girlfriend with the red hair. And she, so during, they, apparently they were homeless. They were living in a car. They had no money. So the only way that they thought they could make money is to, she goes and does stripping. So she started doing stripping. One thing led to another. She made an OnlyFans account, and OnlyFans account is pretty much pornography. But it's, I believe, people subscribe to you, almost like, you know, Netflix type of thing. Um, where they upload their stuff and then you pay for it per month, like a subscription or something. And now she's busy doing pornography with other guys. And this guy is totally fine with it. Let's have a listen and think in your head again. Do you think this relationship worked? So you guys are engaged. Yeah. Fiance. Mm -hmm. so, uh, you guys have been dating for what, four years? Mm -hmm. Five. Five, five years. Like mm -hmm. Okay. So midway through your relationship you started doing only fans correct yeah and then stripping mm -hmm. and then procuring sugar daddies and uh doing esc escorting or no no escorting no just like at the club stripping on only content yeah. with other men that just to clarify for only fans, if they have yes. an only fans and they're into that but okay and then you also have like 10 sugar daddies. Yeah, I have guys that will just text me and just spoil me and send me a hundred bucks or whatever. Just okay. take me to get like Louis Vuitton bags or whatever, so. Sure, okay, so. All right, so now here is current day. All right, so this is now after only a couple, I believe a few weeks or a couple of months after they made that original video where they were on the show together. All right, Mick, give us give us the background here, okay? Um, um, so last time I was on the podcast that many have seen, uh, I was with uh, Keely. Can, can you Keely. scoot into the table a little bit? It's kind of hard between these Or do you want to just hold the mic? You can hold the I, mic. I can. Just get, um, get close to it, get close to it. Okay, so last time I was on here, I was with uh, Keely Rose, who um, is an OnlyFans uh, girl and uh, yeah she basically um, after six years of living together and, and being together every day she left me for another guy and she's currently in Melbourne uh, Australia with this other guy um, and it kind of came abruptly um, uh, out of nowhere for me a few months ago and uh, I was very heartbroken about it, but uh, now I'm here ready to uh, discuss it and uh, show that I am okay. Uh, yet again, when I seen that episode, uh, the video of it, straight away you just know it's not going to work, man. Like, it's not going to work. If you can't be in a relationship with someone and you are not enough for them, they will find someone better. If you're allowing them to sleep with all these people, Apparently it's just for money because we got no money. That's the reason that he used originally is because they didn't have money to pay for things. So the last thing in my entire life, I would never let it happen over my dead body is if I was engaged or if I was married or even in a relationship, the last thing I'd ever do is let her sell her body for money. There is not a chance. I will do anything else in the world. And for this guy... You know, he's coming on here and he kind of, you know, makes people want to feel sorry for them. But this guy, this is on you, man. Like, this is on both of those guys. If you allow an open relationship, someone else to come and have sex with her, you know, I'm talking about like porn stars and everything coming to do that to her. And you just got to be happy with it. And you're happy because she comes home and gives you a kiss goodnight. I don't want to know where that mouth was. Imagine that. Imagine kissing that mouth. That is disgusting. Yeah, but it's just crazy to me that this day and age, this is more prevalent than ever. And, you know, OnlyFans girls think, oh, 
I sell my body online to pictures to random people that pay me per month. You know, that's cool and that's fine. And my boyfriend, he should support me with that. No, no, they don't. There's a reason why many of them stay single. There's a reason why many of them can't find a partner. It's because men don't want that. Let's be real. Men do not want that. So the, the pool of men for them already becomes so much smaller because they literally whole body and every single thing is online and being sold. Once it's online, it ain't coming back. And that's what I don't think these people think about. But anyway, I just wanted to show these two absolute simps uh, losing their relationship. And, you know, one of them literally divorcing. So he's lost millions of dollars because she found someone better. And this guy as well, missing out. Like, luckily he wasn't married with her. So I guess he escaped. But at the same time, you know, be smarter. If, if, if you got a girlfriend that wants to be with other men, that's just a sign that you're not good enough. Or it's just a sign that she's not into you. You know, get out of there right now while you can. Just in my opinion, that's some advice if you're listening. And let me know, do you agree? Do you agree that it's weird that people want to, you know, do this? And do you also agree that that person isn't fully committed to you ever, even though if they say they're doing it for money? Let me know below in the comments. Like the video if you liked it, and please subscribe as well. If you did enjoy this video, let me know, and I'll be able to do a couple more of these sort of ones. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.